Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to sit down in front of you guys and do just like a chatty makeup video with you guys. I just took the longest shower, like total Sunday vibes. In the shower I exfoliated, I like lathered up afterwards, like I'm feeling really good and I have a lot of new products that I've been trying and loving and I thought I would just do my makeup with you guys, chat about what I'm loving, kind of share my favorite things with you. Um, so hopefully that interests you and that sounds like something you'll enjoy. I did want to mention, Sebastian got me this cute, you probably can't really see it with how it's set up, but I, I'll do a video about it. But he got me the cutest little vanity. I am kind of doing like a makeshift one, so I wanted a really cute like mid-century modern desk and then I have like a hanging mirror that I'm about to get so that'll come obviously in another video and I'll do like a whole tour of how it looks but um yeah I thought that I would just do my makeup and chat with you guys because it's kind of been a while since I put up a update video okay let's just go right in don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it. I would really love your support as we're, you know, kind of growing my channel and it's just fun to have new people subscribe. So don't forget to do that and let's hop right in. Okay, I brought you guys in a little bit closer. I never really do makeup videos because A, not very really, like good at it and B, they're like very hard <laughs> to set up. <laughs> so I just don't want to do it. Um, but I thought, sorry, I'm putting on some chapstick. This is the Burt's Bees. Vitamin E and peppermint. It's pretty good. Um, I'm just putting that on so it can like soak in before I put on um, Lipstick and whatever. Um, what was I talking about? I already am sucking. I don't know. I just don't like doing makeup videos. Oh, I think my head's a little cut off. Okay, is that better? Oh, that's better. Okay, so Behind me, I just kind of chucked everything that I use just because I am waiting for a couple storage things for the drawers of this vanity. And then I can put like all my makeup in and I can be doing my makeup in here and I'm very excited. But I just have it all behind me, kind of chucked everywhere. Um, and I figure I'll just kind of talk you through the products that I like. This isn't a tutorial by any means. I'm just wanted to do my makeup in front of you guys. Okay, we're gonna hop into the makeup now. I've already washed my face, like, I haven't primed, but I did sunscreen and all that stuff, all my skincare. If you guys want an updated skincare routine, I'd be happy to do one for you. There is one from Vlogmas, but um, some of that stuff I'm not using anymore, so I'd be happy to do another one for you. But the first thing that I'm gonna hop into is the Catrice Cosmetics Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So you just shake it up. I really love this stuff. I put it on before I do my makeup and after to set everything and it just makes me look so dewy and glowy. Like I really love it. And it's like $4 at Ulta. Woo! Love it. My skin has been going through some stuff recently. So I just want to cover everything up. I feel like I'm a little bit stressed because, oh, I'm going in with the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in Ivory. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit stressed out because, again, sorry about the lighting. Hopefully it's good. Um, been a little bit stressed out with not wedding things because it's not stressful, but it's just stressful because I feel like I woke up one day and we were getting married in four months and I feel like I haven't done anything. So we have like the big things planned obviously but um, just like those little details is what I'm struggling with. I don't know if any of you guys have felt this way but I feel like we got engaged in April so we had like 12, 13 months I think. Yeah we had like 13 months that we were engaged for. We still currently are engaged, but you know, we had like 13 months, so I thought we would have so much time. That sounds like such a long time, and I sort of feel like we kind of procrastinated <laughs> during that time. Um, like, yeah, and I really loved the way that we've been engaged. Like, we really just have been enjoying it. Obviously, we moved into this new place, and that's been such a huge change for us. Like. There's just things in our relationship that have been changing and growing, and so I feel like a long engagement was what we needed, but at the same time, I don't feel like it was long. <laughs> I was like, what did we do this whole time? We didn't do anything. Um, but yeah, 
I my dress is coming along nicely. I know that I mentioned that. Have I mentioned it? I think I have in one of my vlogmas videos. I mentioned that I'm getting it made from my mom's. Oh, is this lighting so bad? Oh well. Um, I'm getting it made or like redesigned because it was my mom's friend's dress. Um, my hair is kind of being in the way. And it's coming along nicely. I have a um, fitting in about a week and a half is when I go back. So this will be the first time that I kind of see it when it's like all, it's not done, but she's like fixed the bodice. I think she said that the only thing that we're going to be um, fitting me to is like the bodice because we're redesigning the bottom, so I'm very excited, I'm very nervous, um, so that's going to be, that's, you know, done, which makes me feel a lot better knowing that, like, okay, that's being worked on, I don't have to worry about finding a dress, and I trust her completely, and I think it's going to be really, really cute, and yeah, the girls are getting their bridesmaids dresses, so that's been fun to, like, pick those out with them, and, um, and see which ones, like, we're not doing all of the same, um, they all get to pick which one that they really like and one dress that speaks to them and just like shows their personality. So I think that that's been the like most fun part is being able to involve them all and see it pretty much come together. So we're working on Sebastian's suit, which I don't know how suits go. So hopefully that's like an easy process. We were kind of just stuck on which color to do, but now I think we're going to finalize it soon. It's like hard doing makeup holding <laughs> a mirror. Next I'm going to go in with the NYX Gotcha Covered Waterproof um, Concealer. My gosh, I my brain today has been scattered. I watched you in like two days. If you guys have not seen you on Netflix, it is so good. I thought I was like living it. Like when Sebastian came home, I was like, who are you? Like, who really are you? <laughs> like, I was so weird. Um, so I'm like thankful that's over though because I was getting creeped out. Like, I was having weird dreams. I was getting very scared. But that's a really good one. So I feel like I kind of... It's been a while since I've like vegged on the couch and like binge watched a TV show. <laughs> So I feel like my brain is just like having to get back to reality and like have a conversation and have my own thoughts. So today I've just been sitting in silence trying to get myself back together. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned my skin has been going through some issues. I hope you guys had a great start to your new year. I was like gonna be one of those people that do a video. I think last year I did a video on like my new year's resolutions and I didn't even do any of them, of course. Um, but it's good, you know, it's a good video to do. But I thought I was gonna do it again this year and then I was just very realistic. Like, you know what, I need to keep my goals close to me and not share them with everyone. I mean, I think it's good to share them because then you have like accountability. Um, but I just, yeah, <laughs> I needed to keep them close to me. I do want to do, oh, there's a little bird. I do want to do a vision board this year. I've never done a vision board, but I think it'd be really cute to put a vision board, like, in that corner of the room. Um, so I want to be doing that, which I think I'll do a video on, because I think that's fun. And I love watching people do vision boards because it just has gotten me inspired. So maybe that will get you guys inspired. If you haven't done any resolutions or not that you have to, but I think it's fun. You know, it's a new, it's a new year, new chance to start over, challenge yourself. I do want to get better about, I had this conversation with Sebastian last night. Do want to get better about reading more books that are like not self-help oops let's put that back in the middle not really self-help books but more like mindfulness books like books that will challenge me personally because I feel like oh what am I looking for oh I feel like I read a lot of books that are like celebrity biographies like that is my favorite genre like I want to read I just love people's stories and I love 
um, just like reading about their life and how they got to where they are, like that to me is so fascinating, my favorite type of book to read. So I still want to read those books, but I feel like I need to read more books on like teaching me something or, you know, like self-help semi kind of books. Okay, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, I don't use this side just because it's a little yellow for me, um, so I just like to go into the bronzer. And a little goes a long way. I use this. This is like another new product, but I've actually been really, really loving it. But I used it yesterday, and I just was very bronzer heavy, and so a little bit goes a long way with this guy. So along with TV shows, I've also been on... A podcast kick. I still really love podcasts. I have been listening to, speaking of like people's stories and talking about their life, I've been listening to Dak Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast and I freaking love it. I listened to it first only because I, I really like him. I think he's really funny and him and Kristen Bell are really cute, but like I, I don't know. I've heard about his podcast, but I never wanted to listen to it, but then he had Sophia Bush on there, and for those of you that don't know, Sophia Bush is like my everything. I love her so much. When I was in middle school and I stumbled across One Tree Hill, I was so obsessed with her that every time she would like change her hair in the show, like if it was a different season or she would have like dark brown hair, like I would cut my hair and make it brown, like just to be like her, like creepy. So I just really love her. I think she's like such a good person and I just support her in everything that she does. She's just so great. So I was listening to his podcast because it's so good and then I listened to him and like Ellen DeGeneres is on there. If you watched his show that he was in, he was in Parenthood, if any of you guys watched that. He does like all of his castmates, which I really loved. Lauren Graham, which is um, or she plays Lorelai on Gilmore Girls, so like all of my favorite people he is friends with. So I really loved that podcast. Um, I'm just setting my face and baking with the, shoot, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Really like this stuff. I've been using this for such a long time, and I really like it. I think I had an empty, I think this was in my empties video. some music over this because like it's kind of relaxing just to not talk and do my makeup. I'm just gonna wipe that away really quickly. I don't like to let it sit there for so long because I feel like this powder is so pigmented that like even when I try it's sitting there for like 30 seconds and it's still sometimes hard to wipe it away so I don't like I don't like to have it bake for so long which is actually probably not even baking but whatever. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I love this blush. So cute. Over the break, we also went and saw, I took Sebastian to see Mary Poppins. We went with him and his little sister. And it was really funny because he's never seen the first one, which I was like, okay. Um, but he really liked it. So it was real, like I was, I knew he would, but I just was nervous that he was like going to be bored or think it was like lame. Cause it was very just fun to see like how they were going to, you know, do the second one and like the storyline. So I was hoping it was going to be boring for him, but he absolutely loved it. And I loved it so much when I watch musicals or people singing and dancing, it makes me so jealous that that's not my job. Like I just want to learn choreography and dance. Like it was so good. I have a couple highlighters that I, my sister gave me a ton that she doesn't use anymore. Um, and so I've kind of just been playing with all of those. So the three that I've been loving the most is the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown Highlighter. This one is so pretty. And then another one is the Makeup Geek Night Light. This one's... Oh, you guys have no idea. I'm so sad how much highlighter is all over my leg. Look at this disaster zone <laughs> that fell all over my carpet. I can't wait to clean that up. So that one was my favorite. Ugh, that makes me so sad. I don't know when it crumpled like that. Oh my gosh, I have so much highlighter. Okay, and all over my carpet. 
Moving on, the next one that I really love is the Physician's Formula, their Butter Highlighter in Pearl. And it's so pretty. I also have the other one, which is like a more golden tone one. But since, oh, that's annoying. But since I'm still a little bit fair, um, since it's the winter, I think I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula one because I really love that. I want to choose the Makeup Geek, but that one is no longer in existence. And maybe you guys won't be able to see, but I just feel like it looks so pretty. I don't really know what I'm showing you. Okay, so I think something's shining on my forehead, which is probably annoying. Um, so there's been two highlight or bleh, there's been two eyeshadow palettes that I've been kind of going back and forth with for like a couple weeks that I wanted to talk about. The first one, Sebastian's mom gave me a new Jaclyn Hill palette for Christmas, which was super sweet of her. I had the um, first one when it first came out, and I was really excited about getting another one because this um, shade right here, I think it's, oh, so this shade is Silk Cream right here. I love to use that as my transition shade. Like this is the, oh I just put my finger in that eyeshadow. Beautiful. The other ones I don't really play around with too much. Like sometimes I'll dip into here but most of the time it's like this first row that I use the crap out of. So I was completely out of this one on my other palette. So I was really happy to get this one. So I love using this every day. And then I've also been playing around with the Revolution or the Makeup Revolution Powder in Reload. This is the Velvet Rose Palette. And I just got this at Ulta, and it is so cute. Like, I just really love, like, these deep shades right here. So we're going to play with both of them today. That's usually what I've been doing for eyeshadow. I just really like the look of using, like, eyeshadow and then using a darker one for my liner like I don't really do a wink liner anymore which is kind of sad but I have been bringing it back a little bit because my sister gave me the Tarte gel pot liner from Tarte and I really love it it goes on so nicely and just stays really pretty all day but I don't do a wing every day that's just asking too much of me oh there's oh oops sorry my blinds are like messing this all up so some favorite youtubers that i've been watching this year i still have all of my fave og ones that i love i really love zoella um even though she's not really zoella anymore zoe sug is how we should be calling her i guess but i really love watching her i love watching samantha maria on youtube i love rihanna and ashley like basically everybody in the uk i need to be friends with them. So I watch a lot of them, but I've also been obsessed with Shane Dawson, which I know I'm so late to the game because he's been doing YouTube for so long, but I love him. But then I also love his freaking boyfriend, Rylan Adams. He is so funny. I will like sit in my bed <laughs> before I go to bed and watch the videos and just laugh hysterically. They are so, I feel like I've never really watched like funny people on YouTube. I know that sounds weird, but I just like to watch very like cute families or like I guess Zoe and Mark are really funny to me but they like Rylan and Shane are so funny I have been enjoying their stuff so much so yeah YouTube has been great I feel like in 2019 I've been really loving it I'm really excited for um my channel this year on YouTube like I think it's just really fun being able to watch lots of different people create lots of different content and figure out what it is that I want my channel to be um I think next I'm gonna go in I think I'm gonna go in to I don't know I think I'm kind of kind of do like a little bit of this and this you know action happening I'm just gonna hop all over um but I just it's been really fun to just watch a lot of different people and kind of figure out what it is that I want my channel to be. I know I've said it before, like, I kind of just do whatever, not in like a mean way, but I kind of just do whatever I want and whatever feels like right to me, which I think is super important, um, especially, you know, just to 
show that like I'm not doing it for any anybody else but at the same time like I want to do something that like resonates with people and find okay this little thing is pissing me off um, you know find something that resonates with you guys and so I kind of just wanted to know what it is or why you like to watch me I guess I kind of do a bunch of everything and maybe you just like my personality I don't know that's so awkward to say but I would just like to know like if you put it in the comments what it is that you like about my videos and then that way maybe I can see what you guys would want to see more of um, if it like is something that I'd be interested in doing if it's like I want you to do better makeup I there's no way I'm dipping back in to the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna go into in light which is like this first little highlight shade and I just put some on my finger and I'll just plop this on the center of my lid um, I'm gonna do my lashes I just did like a quick line of a darker um, what's that called eyeshadow for my eyeliner and I'm gonna go into the essence let's see I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I don't really, I've never used this brand before. This is my first day trying it. My sister loves this brand for her mascara. They had so many options for mascara, so hopefully I picked like a good one. Um, but there's just so many, so I just went with this one. I've said this before, but like I hate using new mascara. I don't know what it is, like I need to break it in a little bit. If you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I like it. It's just like too new, you know? So there's just like so much product on it, which I'm sure people want because they want a lot of product on their eyelashes, but to me it just like makes me nervous. I'm just gonna quickly do my brows with my NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil. I love this. It's my favorite for my eyebrows. I also cannot talk when I do my eyebrows, so I'm gonna speed oh, My gosh, I'm gonna put a hole in the wall. Um, I'm gonna speed this up. <laughs> Ooh, and I don't have a lip, but I feel like that's okay because I actually don't really know what I'm going to be doing for today. Um, but that's it. That is me doing my makeup and updating you guys. So I hope that you found this hopefully enjoying, wait, enjoying, hopefully enjoyable. And um, it was fun to kind of see the new tr things that I'm using this year. Leave all of your favorite podcast shows, makeup, anything down below, what videos you would like me to do next. Um, leave it all in the comments. I love to interact with you guys through there. That is going to do it for me today. I'm going to go find something to do with this full face of makeup now on this Sunday. I hope that you guys have a good rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!